One thing I wanted to go over real quick was the NMDR1. Uh, recently, I put out a video on the Adidas NMDR1 and how that was my go-to shoe, my daily driver. And uh, I realized that in my creative process, in my rush to kind of film everything, shoot everything and edit the video to get it out to you guys, that uh, I didn't really go over too much about the shoe itself. I basically said I got it on sale. Was really, really stoked to have it, as you can see. And um, I was ready to go test it out. I want to provide a little more information to you guys about the shoe itself so that if you guys are considering picking up the R1, that you kind of know pros and cons and you can weigh the benefits of the shoe itself as a shoe. All right, so let's do that. The Adidas R1. First thing I really like about this shoe is the feel. It's very lightweight, it's made of a lightweight mesh that's breathable and very flexible. Um, there's elastic that covers all the details and really kind of seals the deal and wraps up the shoe really nicely when you're wearing it. Um, the second thing I really like is the aesthetic. So the design was based on um, 80s retro style shoes. And in that era, they were really focused ironically on the future. And so when you bring that type of 80s inspired shoe into a modern shoe design like the R1, you get this dichotomy of like a retro 80s feel that's inspired by the future or what was perceived as the future at that time with actual future or modern day tech. And when you look at the shoe as a whole, it's got this really awesome hybrid retro futuristic feel to it. So I know that was a mouthful. I said futuristic maybe like 10 times, but that's what I like about this shoe in terms of visuals. With all that aside, the best thing about this shoe, the best thing about the NMD R1 is the fact that everything on the shoe was designed with a purpose. The design team at Adidas that headed the R1 design really tried to make sure that every component on the shoe was designed with a purpose and wasn't just there for a gimmicky aesthetic look. For example, these two blocking elements here on the shoe. I originally, when I saw these shoes, I just thought, oh, it could just be an extrusion of the foam just to make it look cool, kind of in line with that retro wave 80s type of feel, right? Well, it turns out that these two elements provide further support in the foam sole so that when you're doing something a little more active, like running, for example, or cross training, it's a little more responsive and it's there for you and actually functions as a shoe to help you with your posture and your response time, right? Oh, it just resonates so hard with everything we talk about and everyday carry and our EDC philosophy, designing our loadouts with purpose based on our needs, whether it's for a daily loadout or a weekend trip or whatever you may face or encounter, you design your carry based on those needs, based on those purposes. So that is why this shoe is awesome. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> and so with that in mind, with the NMD R1 and everything else we talk about on this channel, it allows us to live with purpose. Huh? Huh? <laughs> All right, anyway, I just wanted to get that out of the way, a little addendum, if you will, to the NMD R1 review that I put out a little earlier. Just wanna make sure that I highlight the concrete details and the features that I love about the shoe, and hopefully that educates you in your decision-making if you're considering R1 as a shoe you might wanna get. All right, let's move on. I, oh. I had a lot of people tell me that I just do this all the time. So I'm gonna try and just chill and talk without doing this. <laughs> okay. Oh God. I feel it. I feel the wrinkles setting in. Oh God. We don't uh, add a pen or add a fidget spinner. Fidget spinner? What? What? Ugh. The Adidas R1. Yeah, baby. Okay, that was, that took, guys, that took like 50 tries. <laughs> kept throwing it up. It kept coming on different sides, falling through. You can't see. I wish I had a second person up here just dropping it like. Yeah, see, that happened 49 times before I got this one take right. So there you go, guys, just for you. 